What a book this is. John Wesley, The Sermon on the Mount. And I am a blessed man to have a copy of this book. I read this yesterday and what I read stunned me. I want to share a little bit of what I read yesterday. Who then are the poor in spirit? Without question, to Jesus, the poor in spirit are the humble. The poor in spirit are those who know themselves. It is they who are convinced of their sins. The poor in spirit are those to whom God has given that first repentance. This must first be given before there can be that faith which is in Jesus. He who is poor in spirit no longer depends upon his material possessions. He can no longer say, I am rich and increasing in goods and need nothing. The poor in spirit knows that he is wretched, poor, miserable, blind and naked. He is convinced that he is spiritually poor indeed. He knows that he has no spiritual good abiding in him. He says, In me dwells no good thing, but only that which is evil and abominable. He has a deep sense of the loathsome sin which has been surrounding him since his birth. He knows that sin overspreads his own soul and totally corrupts every power and faculty of it. He sees more and more the bad tempers which spring from that bad root. He is aware of his pride and haughtiness of spirit. He knows of his constant bias to think more of himself than he ought to think. He is convicted of his vanity and thirst after the esteem and honor that comes from men. He knows that he has hatred, envy, jealousy, revenge, anger, malice and bitterness. He admits to an inbred enmity both against God and against man which appears in thousands of shapes. He admits to loving the world rather than loving God. He confesses to the self-will, the foolish and harmful desires which cleave to his inmost soul. After reading this, how could I not be impressed? John Wesley seemed to write about me. He seemed to be writing about me. This is the description of the man that I am. The man who is poor in spirit. I am that man. And when I read this yesterday, I felt tremendously consoled. Because Jesus Christ promises the kingdom of heaven to those who are poor in spirit. He says, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I am poor in spirit. I need God. And I'm so glad that Jesus Christ has promised the kingdom of heaven to me and to everyone who is poor in spirit.